Hello everyone, this is Jodo Caden, Caden Gaming, and I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to play Light Max. But anyway, I'm going to be using my Jenner. As you can see, I have two small lasers on either side, anti missile system right here. I've been debating removing that anti missile system, but I'm not really sure about that. I'll have to decide that later. You gotta really decide are you having problems with missiles or not. And I've, here's when my build starts getting a little bit odd. I have two short-ranged missiles four instead of the typical two short-range missile streaks these weigh two tons each and then I have an extra ton in SRM ammo so that's five tons total a seventh of my mech's total tonnage but these will pack a punch if you can hit with them they're very difficult to hit with but anyway other than that I just have standard leggings and nothing else special but anyway these these missiles will do tons of damage if you can hit with them, but they take a lot of skill to hit with. In the pilot tree, I maxed out. I got plenty of extra XP. I play with this mech a lot. But anyway, let's quickly get into the game. Um, I'm going to be searching for a game now. And I got Caustic Valley. Now, whenever you realize you get Caustic Valley, you got to remember... Your heat's going to go up, so don't fire your SRM-4s whenever you're at 90% or above. It's going to shut down your mech. That's an important thing to remember when you're running this build. Uh, I do apologize if I sound like I'm boringly analyzing the game, but <laughs> I have a bad habit of doing that. If it's a bit too boring, you might, instead of watching one of my tutorials, you might just want to watch my playthrough. Particularly my playthrough with Kath or any of the others. Actually, I haven't posted any of those yet, but I should be posting them soon, as soon as I get them edited. But yeah, these short-range missiles 4 will do tons of damage if I hit with them. Two volleys can take out two good hits, I'm talking about, not just two glancing hits. Two good hits to the cockpit or center chassis will take out most light mechs. But the problem is, it's very hard to hit with them. But anyway, I'm going to be talking about some general things light mech users should remember. You don't want to go too far ahead of your team. Just because you're fast doesn't mean you can go in and attack the entire enemy team. It's very useful to know the map so you don't end up accidentally stumbling across the enemy team, which is something I tend to do a lot. But yeah, I'm quickly glancing over the crater. They s don't seem to be coming through the crater. Not that they could at their speed. There seems to be one enemy mech. I didn't see what it was coming down the left side. Most of my team seems to just be meandering around over here. At least they're not splitting up. One of the big things pugs do wrong. Uh, for those of you who don't know, pugs are basically people who aren't in teams and don't play very much. You know, noobs, basically. At least as far as I know, I'm still, I guess, a pug by definition. Because I don't really know all the MechWarrior Online terms very well. But yeah, being in this crater is a bad spot to be. For one thing, your heat will be incredibly high. For another, enemies can pop out from behind those pillars. But anyway, I see a friendly raven right there. And this seems like an enemy scout's making the mistake I was warning you about. Go getting too close behind enemy lines. He seems to have gotten out with fairly little damage, only some bad hits to his back, that's it. And one of our guys overextended them. <sighs> I hate it when my team does that. I really do. But yeah, it seems one of our guys overextended himself, and he got himself killed, which is already bad. It means we're down one player. Thankfully, the rest of us seem to be sticking together fairly well. And someone's running back to base. Or, actually, I shouldn't say running back. Someone, an enemy came, went to our base. So I'm going to see if I can go on the right side. I see I have a friend on the left side. Though he seems to be coming to more of the right side. And he doesn't—he isn't even going back to base at all. Wonderful. He might just crash into me again. Oh, he didn't. Is that guy trying to crash into me? It almost seems like he is. I should hope not. It's bad enough whenever you're one player down. It's worse. Excuse me, two players down. It's worse when you have a team member who's being completely dest destructive. And I missed with those missiles, which is very, very bad. It's a waste of ammo. But hopefully, my friends will be able to damage him, because I knocked him down, so. They didn't seem to have dealt too much to him. His right arm's pretty beat up, which is good, but that's not too much to go on. 
If only I can get a good missile hit. That should take off his arm. Um, I'm beating down his arm. Pretty soon his arm will probably get blown off. And, yes. Oh, come on. The system lagged, and it, they switched positions. I don't know if I actually hit him. But whatever, I was able to kill him. That's the benefit of these missiles. They are heavy. They can kill most mechs in a couple hits, or less. I think it's a couple. I think that's the most I've ever killed one in. I'll have to rewatch the video. I didn't notice if I killed that guy in a couple or a single hit. I didn't realize if they hit or not. But yeah, our sniper's doing a little bit of good, but most of our teams... Most of our team's mechs are getting really beat up. We're getting smashed out here, frankly. That Jenner is badly hurt, so let me see if I can finish him off. It's dangerous me going into this area. Very dangerous. Oh, that's a dead Atlas. Um, do I want to mess with that Atlas? I guess I'll try. I mean, we're getting... I need to take out some of their artillery or do something. Because or else we're going to be dead meat. Oh, and that Jenner is causing me problems. Let's see if I can take him out. His build is better against light mechs than mine, which is very unfortunate for me. Mine is very hard to get hits in with. Ow. And yeah, I think I'm dead, mate. I'm not sure if that's my friend hitting me or my enemy. At any rate, I'm not going to last long. Not against this Jenner and this Atlas. Yeah, it's my enemy. I overextended myself a bit. Let's see if I can make it out of here alive. While some players might give up in this situation, don't give up. I mean, seriously. I'm going to swing back around to try to get close to him. Why? Oh, he took out some of my lasers. That's not good. And I'm dead. Well, I took out one of their mechs, so that's not terrible. I sort of overextended myself at the end there, but my team was doing very badly, and I didn't see anything else I could do. And frankly, this time around, my team wasn't that great. But yeah, I'll I'll probably just upload this video, but not as a tutorial. I was going to upload this as a tutorial, but I died too quickly to really show off much. I didn't really die, I like to think, because of my failings. It was really just my team which failed. I'll probably just upload this as one of my games in my series where I just play. But yeah, you can see this guy's not the greatest of players. I mean, he's not terrible. He's not playing too badly, but he's not the greatest of players. But yeah, there was nothing I could have done. I killed, got one kill, so I don't feel too bad about it. I didn't do as much damage as they did, but that's because I overcommitted and tried to attack that Atlas. That was kind of dumb, but we were losing anyway. I didn't see much of a choice. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I'll see you all next time. Have a nice day.